Welcome to another Orion Controls video tutorial. This video will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to download the Silicon Lab USB drivers to your computer. If you haven't yet downloaded Prism 2 to your computer, please do so now. The drivers that we're going to download will be used anytime you connect to your job site via either a USB Link 2 or a Comlink 5 without an IP module, so local access. To get started, let's go to our tech support website, and that is www.techsupport.watmaster.com. Again, that is www.techsupport.watmaster.com. Once on the website, please scroll down a little just past the Prism 2 section of the website to the USB driver section of the website. The first link are written step-by-step -step instructions on how to download the USB driver. The second file is the actual file for the USB drivers. Let's click on that. The USB drivers will immediately start downloading to your computer. To access these files, we're going to go to the Downloads folder in your computer. So let's go ahead and open the Downloads folder. And within that folder, you should find this file, which is called USB Drivers All. Go ahead and double click on it. Depending on the Microsoft Windows version that your computer is running, a security warning window will open up. If that is the case, simply click Run. At this point, the WinZip self-extractor will open. Please take a look at this folder. It's called Unzip to Folder. This field indicates where the USB drivers will be downloaded to in your computer. In my case, it's going to be under the C drive in a folder called Temp. Now that we have taken note of this, let's go ahead and click on Zip. The USB drivers are now being unzipped onto your C file. Okay. This window is telling you that the files have been unzipped successfully. Let's go ahead and click OK, Close, and we're going to go to the C drive. Within the C drive, we're going to go to the temp folder, so we're going to double click on temp. And we're going to see the WM for Wattmaster USB drivers. Go ahead and double click. You will see three files. The first file is called USB Link New. Let's go ahead and click on that. From this file, you're either going to choose the third or the fourth option. And this is depending on the operating system your computer is running. If it's a 32-bit operating system, you will double-click on this option. If it's a 64-bit, like in my computer, you will double-click on the 64-bit option, which is the fourth one. Go ahead and double-click. This is the Bridge Driver Installer. To continue, let's click Next, and then I accept this agreement. And Next, one more time. The USB driver have now been successfully installed in your computer. Let's go ahead and click Finish. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, please remember that we're only one call away.